I just had a request to do a tutorial on how I get the uh, Kodak options on my Mac for Media Express and Intensity Extreme. So first we'll go to just type in Final Cut Pro and that will take us to the Apple Store and uh, Final Cut Pro. Now you see you can buy it now or free trial. So we'll click on the free trial option and that will take us to a page where we can fill in our details, put in your name, email address and uh, country or that sort of jazz and you download it and you've got 30 days to actually use Final Cut Pro and once it ends uh, just keep it on your system and you'll be able to keep the codex so we put it on um, go to Pro Apps now once we've got Final Cut Pro on our computer click on it there and this is another free download but it won't unless you've got Final Cut Pro it won't let you have them so we've got that now and we just go off and hit download and it'll give you all the ProRes codecs that you need to use for capturing with Intensity Extreme. Now we head over to uh, my system preferences just on my Mac and you'll find now that you've got, uh, you'll go down to your Blackmagic design open that up and uh, just go through and make sure everything's locked in. I'm using HDMI so I'll make sure they're all HDMI settings for the input and output. Uh, Japan because I'm in the uh, Asia Pacific region so click that one and make sure this is on 720p 5994. Uh, it comes out at 60 frames per second because the, that's what the Xbox you know even though it may be only 30 frames the game the actual output is 60 frames so it must come out at that. Uh, to work with the um, Blackmagic Express. So we go into Blackmagic now and um, there we go, log and capture and now I can see what's actually coming through from my Xbox there. Coming through live and we go to Media Express uh, preferences and make sure that that's the same setting as we had on the other 720p, 5994. Yeah, capture file format, this is where we'll see all the new codecs that we've just gained from that ProEps download. Uh, when we first get Media Express, all we get is the uncompressed 8-bit, so which is no good. It's just two massive files. It slows it up. My computer couldn't handle it. So uh, 42 Lite is the one that works on mine. That was even uh, high quality ProRes was a bit choppy. So Lite's the one that works for my small MacBook, 13 inch, and you set up where you want each capture to save to. Um, leave everything else. I didn't tinker with them. And uh, yeah, once you got that, you can see it, see it working there. Now we do have to go through the. You got to go into your Xbox menu as well, and make sure that you've changed the display to 720p as well, which I'll just show you quickly. So we go over into the dash. This is capturing now, and we'll go all the way across to my settings. Eventually, I will. Then we go into system. I should have gone to console settings first, it's not TV. We go to console settings, click display, HD TV settings, and we make sure that that is on 720p. Now that's the only way you can record with the Intensity Extreme with the Xbox. Otherwise, 1080i you get black spots and all sorts of things going on with your, with your recording, so it doesn't really work. So 720p there, and once you've got all that set up for 720p, you should start seeing your screen come through in Media Express as long as it's on modern capture and everything's plugged in. So I hope that helped and I'll catch you later.